Friday the 1st of December 2023, the first day of meteorological winter. It was cold and the radar was suggesting some rain and sleet across the east of the county. Would it turn? Friday the 1st of December 2023. First day of meteorological winter. And we have snow here in Folkestone. Started off as rain. But in the last few minutes, temperature has dropped just below two degrees now. And the precipitation has turned more and more to snow. So, yeah, winter has arrived. And how pretty and how fitting and how timely is that? Still some yellow on the trees, legacy from the autumn. Wonder how this now pans out for the remainder of the winter. Cold for the next few days. Perhaps a few a marginal more setup showers. It was really tricky to forecast between rain and snow, but the fact that snow had fallen to quite low altitude suggested that later in the day the potential for more snow was there. The skies cleared, beautiful sunset over Folkestone. This was at just before 4 pm, but it was turning cold and the temperatures were already close to zero. But Kent weather were already all over this. They had seen the potential for that front pushing down in the flow overnight. It was just a question. Would the front hold its integrity? Would it reach Kent? And would the precipitation remain fairly heavy? By 8 p.m. it sure was. It was arriving on the East Kent coast and towards the Thames estuary. It was now just a question of would it come ashore? It didn't take long, in fact. It reached Whitfield first off at around about 9 p.m. A quick one centimetre fell. The second batch moved in towards the east of the Isle of Sheppey towards Faversham and Whitstable. Some thunder was reported. Also, this snow would push towards Charing, giving some quite heavy falls. Temperatures were falling widely across the county, minus three to minus four. The next crop of snow showers were to provide the main event for many parts of East Kent. Towards Canterbury at 1am, this situation evolved, pushing south southeastwards by 2.30am to give some one or two centimetres over the higher ground. The front fizzled quickly around 4.30am. I'll leave you with some scenes from East Kent.